Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Rakakwadash. That belongs to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam, to the Akiam and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Yahweh Shai as commanded. In this lesson today, um, I'm going to be speaking on. <coughs> A lot of the stuff that are happening around us, man, you know, to the spirit. Um, I actually had an article that I had saved from yesterday. I saved the link. Uh, I, I, I texted to myself and saved the link. But when I went back to it just now and, and tried to open it up, it's actually showing me a, a new article. I, don't, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think they... they try to they revise the story a little bit but it seemed like it is going into it's not the same article from yesterday the one that i saved right it was going into some the wildfires in california and uh uh the rains the, the floods uh that they're having you know which is going into uh scripture you know storm and tempest you know but so i don't have that article anymore i spend so much time looking for it now my lunch break is almost over but um, there's a whole lot happening, man. You got wildfires in California, you know, floods in different places, and, 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 and things going on behind the scenes, man, okay? A lot of things going on behind the scene, unrighteous decrees, you know, being brought forward, you know? It's just so much that's going on, man, you know? The queen just died, Right? Right? And all of these different things going on in the world. Meanwhile, you should be asking yourself, what's next? Okay? Well, we know they're getting ready to go all digital. Okay? That's a couple months away from it, from, from now, in the month of December. Okay? I mean, it's just, with so much going on, man, but that's why the Lord told us to watch. The Lord said to watch, man, and pray. We got to keep watch. The things that we see on the news, we got to filter it through the scriptures. We got to keep watch, man. You see? I'm going to grab a quick scripture on that. Because the Lord is visiting the place, you know? Uh, quick scripture that comes to mind, the book of Luke. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be found, so like that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So we know a lot of things are being um, prepared, traps and snares, you know. So the Lord said to watch. So this is what we're doing. We're watching, you know. Um, another one very quick is our First Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So the Lord told us to watch, man. So all these things happening. You know, the Lord told you in Matthew, the 24th chapter, when the, when the disciples asked him, beginning at the third verse, when shall the end, the end of these things be? You know, and he told them that it will be wars and rumors of wars. And we've seen all of that. We've seen what's happening in Ukraine with Russia. You know, we've seen what's happening with China and Taiwan. You know? New, new, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, North Korea just, uh, um, so they just say they, 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 they have nuclear capabilities, you see. So it, it's, it's a whole lot of stuff that's going on around the world, man. You see, a whole lot of stuff, man. You know, storm and tempest, all of these things, you see. Um, let me get that real quick. This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, because um, what's happening in California and different parts, man, even Texas, just the other day, they had some serious floods, man. But they had to be rescuing people and stuff like that. 
the book of Isaiah chapter 29. Isaiah 29 and verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited, right? So this, this is of the Lord, man. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, man. You see? These things that you see happen in the earth is, is of the Lord, man. The scriptures say, Thine incorruptible spirit is in all things, man. Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter, the first verse. You see? When the fire is raging, the spirit of the Lord is in those fires, man. The waters, the floods, okay? The spirit of the Lord is in those things, man. Wild beasts, okay? The Lord controls those spirits, man. All spirits belong to the Most High. You see? He's the father of spirits. Um... Let's go to the book of us. Uh, let's go to the Apocrypha and grab Second Ezra. Second Ezra is the ninth chapter because right now the, the Lord is visiting the world, man, which He made. This is our uh, Second Ezra, the first chapter. It's like in the ninth chapter, the first verse. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest." will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, we've been seeing all that. Uproars of the people. You know, what happened in uh, Sri Lanka? What happened in Panama? You know? What happened in Haiti over the last recent weeks? I mean, we've seen these signs, man. You see? And that's why we keep in watch. To measure the time, man. According to prophecy. You see, right now they're getting ready to make mandatory. They're getting ready to do their thing, man. They're getting ready to do their thing, man. The Marcus Sorellis, man. Uh, the, the, the Tree Six Mafia, man. They, if you don't know what it is by now, man, read Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 16th verse going down, man. They're getting ready to do their thing, man. You see? Um, it says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou un well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before the even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Okay? The end is manifest. In verse 6 it says, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs, man. Fire, storm, hail. You see? All these things, okay, was created for vengeance also, man. We could get that. You see, and we've been seeing these things all around the earth, man. Let's get out the book of, um, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, 39 chapter. And I'm going to read the 29th verse. It says, fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. You see? So these things were created for vengeance, man. Okay? Remember the Lord, the prophecy speaks about the lake of fire. That's a future prophecy. You see, so he, those things are created for vengeance. Remember, remember the flood, okay? Eight souls, only eight souls were delivered. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives, man. All right? All right? The rest of the people drowned, man. Okay? By that water. You see? So these things were created for vengeance, man. You see? Teeth of wild beasts, man. You see? It says, verse 30, Teeth of wild beasts and scorpion serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. And so, hey, that's it, man. These things are used for vengeance, man. Fire, storm, tempest. You see? You see these things happening all around the earth? When, when, when uh, who that was? Uh, King David. Um, when you go to the Psalms, you read Psalms 83. Those that fought against Israel. Who did that Psalms again? Uh, let me go to it real quick. Psalms 83. In the latter part, the last part of that scripture speaks about a Psalm of Asaph. Okay, so when you go to this Psalms 83, when you go to the, the very last part of it, it speaks of how he was telling them because they fought against, right? Our people, all right, it says, Oh, my power, begin at the 13th verse, Psalm 83 and 13. Oh, my power, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind, okay? As the fire 
burn it to wood as the flame set it the mountains on fire. You see? So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord, O Yahweh. Okay? Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. Okay? Because they fought against uh, 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 Israel, man. Okay? Our people. It says, Then men may that men may know that, that that thou whose name alone is Yahweh, it says Jehovah here, but we know it's Yahweh because there's no is there an E, no O in, in, in Hebrew. Okay? It says that men may know that thou whose name alone is Yahweh art the most high over all earth. Over all the earth, man. You see? So at the end of the day, when we see these storms and these tempests and these hail and fire and all these things, all of these things were created for vengeance, man. You see? So I'm off the end of there until the next time. Uh, Lord willing, I'll see you soon on the next one. Adawam Ratazah. Shalom.